before we start making any coding changes, it's important to go through and see what functionality your theme already has, because you can frequently handle colors and fonts and things like that right from within the theme. So we have, I'm previewing the skeleton child, so we're working in our child theme. So we can start by changing our site, and this is going to be the beginning of your final project. So you'll have, well, the, the theme will go to your final project, we'll play with the code, but this is going to be Mary's WordPress final. I am learning custom themes. Now I can come back and change this at any time. But if I want to change these, just click over here and you'll see that it's all coming together. Custom theme creation and click and there it is. Okay, so our header, we could put in a logo or an image. I don't have one currently, so I'm going to let it be background. We can select a different background image or color. So if I don't want to be so incredibly boring as white, I could go out here and I hate it. So I'll go back to white. White's good. I like white. White's nice. But it wouldn't be bad if I wanted to go to a like, really light shade of gray either, if that's too much contrast. I actually kind of like that. Okay. Maybe a little tiny bit grayer in the purplish zone, way down here. I could endlessly play here. I don't want it to carry it away, so. I probably should have left it white. All right, we'll go back to white. White is plain. White is easy. I'm a programmer. White. White looks good. It will change the color of the text, though. Layout preferences. I'm good with 960. That's a good standard for the maximum width. Sidebar width, five columns. Content width, 11 columns. Sidebar position, I don't like that. I like left. There, I'm happier. You guys who've seen maryhelp.net, which is the same theme in Drupal, So I've already done, I haven't gotten as far as a child theme in Drupal, but this is the way I've laid it out in Drupal using the same basic theme. So this is my tendency to keep something really clean because the focus of that page is for the video. Oh, my video is done. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at the 960 pixels wide. Typography, sans serif. If you'd like, you can change these. Eh, look. Sans serif is good. Personally, the one I want isn't in here. Let's have some fun. Let's change it. Droid Sans. I'm okay with that. Now I'm just playing to see what's here. No, it must be a Sans Serif font. Must, must, must. So we'll see if I like Droid Sans. Yes, I kind of do like to write songs. Okay, so I'm going to call sans serif. I'm being a little carried away here. This is not necessarily good design. I'm just showing you what you can do. You can play with the text color. I'm actually kind of good with the dark gray. <laughs> I can deal with that. Link color. Typically, I do like to leave that a shade of blue. We want to we can play and make it a slightly darker blue kind of like that an even darker blue like that even better link cover color 
Um, I want it to change color on that more, and I'm going to go dark purple. Actually, I'm going to go dark purple for a bit. And so you can see these are changing place as you play it with them. So we can put our extras, headers, extra text. Aries sandbox. Questions? Contact Mary. UCC Mary at Gmail. We'll use this one. Mary Winchester at gmail.com. I do have better email addresses. I just don't want to put them out there. Navigation, primary navigation. We're going to go through the custom. Do a short footer navigation. See what that does. Home blog about the test. There we go. Static front page. We can choose a static page and then we can go pick it. We'll pick the one that says front page. And you'll notice that happens automatically. Posts page. We'll choose blog. We can add widgets. We can add a widget if we had any. Widgets in the footer. Okay, so that's pretty much how far we can go with. I'm still not happy here. I want to change my color some more. Primary brand color. Ooh, I want to be in purple. I like purple. That's good. Secondary color should be dark red. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I want my titles to all be. Change that top color. So I would want to get further into this. But you can see I'm putting in various things here. This is too big, that's something I'm going to want to change. So that's all okay. I can save and publish and I can go forward from here. So this is about how far it gets me. Um, we can do more as far as our navigation by going into Customize. And these are all the same things we were just looking at. And so we can go here, Blog, Front Page, Sample Page. OK, so we're in good shape there. All right. so. I'm going to close that. Now if we want to do editing directly in here, we can also go to the editor and we can look for, here's our style sheet. And this is actually technically what um, they recommend, that if you're going to make changes to the styles, that you make them in here. So we're going to get started on making some changes in this next. There's a couple ways to go about it. Um, but I know right away that I want to look at the different parts of my pages and I think the heading's too big and I want to start making some simple changes like that. So that'll be the next video. Set up, play around some, set up your page, come back to the next video. I want you to work and get as far as you can. Obviously, since it's going to control colors um, like this, we're pretty good and we're just going to start working on what we want to change from here.